last week we cut in the gas box. It's from DIY RV Solutions. It was $354 plus postage and it houses two four kilogram LPG bottles. And then after that, Mitch and I did all the undermounted gas pipe work and brought it through the floor, ready for final connection after cabinetry stage. Can you actually kick it, like not kick it, but just pass it out to me? Yeah. We're done. And out again. I just want to snap this right, so. One more time. One more time. <laughs> now you have it, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just break. Pull it down. Ah! Got him. Absolute crisis. <laughs> no, I still need to go down here. I know. It's going to be lower than the floor. More, more for Emerson. What? What? You, you are heaps of work today. So Lisa's just finishing off the Sigaflex on this gas box we've just put in. Um, went in quite nicely, we just had to pack the back of it when it went in the van. And now the Silicon Queen is just doing her magic. We went for the gas box that houses two four kilogram bottles just because for our gas consumption it will last us between 18 and 22 days so I really wanted to just have two there so if we go on longer trips where we won't be near any refill points we can have two bottles on deck. We're just putting the lock in for the gas box. We got Mitchy boy, help me with the gas. Introduce yourself. Hello. <laughs> I'm Mitch. Hating got him working overtime. So we're getting the holes ready for the pipe work and putting up the regulator. So now we're running all the undermounted gas pipe making sure that all the pipe work is protected, sleeved, and avoids any possible pinch points.
Everything is isolated and capped off. We will do an initial test now and retest after cabinetry with a digital manometer. And remember, all gas fitting work in Australia must be installed by a licensed gas fitter only. So that's the gas box and the undermounted gas pipe work finished. Next up will be part one of the electrical. We'll be doing the in-wall wiring and the sheeting ready for cabinetry. Thank you.